I, I don't know about you, but half my wardrobe's a knit. So if I want to make my knit wardrobe fancy, the Vesta and I, we're going to have to know some tricks about embroidery on knits. I'm Kathy, and this is Sewing Tech Talk. We have a giveaway for today's video. It's this great pack of embroidery thread. So every time you like, share, or comment, you're entered for a chance to win a great pack of embroidery thread. So good luck. Today we're going to talk about embroidery on knits. And I wish I could say just just go for it. This is the formula and then you're good to go. But there seems like there are as many knits as there are stars in the sky. So because there's all different kinds of knits, what I'd like to do is give you the formula for um, what we're going to do to make sure that once we embroider our knits, that they keep the same great properties that make them awesome to wear. A knit super comfortable, it's stretchy, it drapes well. That's the properties that we want to maintain when we put embroidery on our knits. So let's talk briefly about the different types of knits. This is a, a double knit. It's a, like one of the most stable knits there are. Not a lot of stretch. This is a Ponte knit, a pair of pants that I have. It, it's about the same weight as the other, but it stretches this way and this way. So it's super comfortable to wear, but I want to keep those properties if I'm going to embroider something on it. Here is some slinky knit yardage that I have. Oh my goodness, it's much thinner, but it's got a heck of a lot of stretch in it. Here's a cotton knit t-shirt. Pretty easy to embroider on, but here's a, one of those um, types of fabrics that's both cool and it's a knit and it has some really unique properties to it. It uh, has it has like little holes in it so it breathes. Great to wear but I don't want to change that when I embroider on it. So what we need to do when we're embroidering on knits is keep a couple things in mind. We want to think about the design that we're going to use. It needs to match our knit and not take away that stretchy property and that flow property that are so nice with knits. So say you're doing a design. Here's a nice big design, but it doesn't have a lot of deep fill patterns. So depending on where you put it on the garment, then uh, it, it might work. It's big and you're not going to have a lot of stretch. So keep that in mind. Here's another outline pattern and it's big so it's not going to have a lot of stretch when you use it. It's not going to be very stiff so it might work here. It might work here. Keep that in mind when you're looking for a design to put on knits. Now here's a really pretty design. It has mylar in the back of it and it has this filled in area and that's not going to stretch. So if I was to put this on a t-shirt it would probably work as long as I don't need extra stretch wherever I put it. So keep that in mind. Now here is a big design. This is a bird. I did this in an earlier video. Now this design is so dense and so thick, it literally stands up all by itself. Might look pretty on a knit garment, but it's really too big and too dense. So Think about a design. Don't fall in love with a really big one or one that has a lot of density to it because it may you will not be happy with it when you embroider it on your knit. Now we're going to stabilize our knit when we embroider it and we're going to put it in the hoop and I'm going to do some embroidery on this t-shirt that I have and I chose my most filmiest flimsiest princess of a knit that I had to do some embroidery on because if it works on this it'll probably work on your garment as well. So what are the things we need to look for? Well we need to look for a design that's going to be nice and lightweight and when we think about stabilizer there's two different things we might have to think about. This knit is very, very light. It's a linen knit. And so I really didn't want any stabilizer to stay in it after I'm finished with it. And my design really doesn't need that. It's a very lightweight design. So what I've used is I've used what's called Wet and Gone. It's a wash away stabilizer. And I've used that on the back. Another property of this knit is it might get what's called hoop burn. So if I was to hoop it into my hoop, this part that goes underneath the ring might distort the knit even permanently and it's not going to look the same after I take it out. 
So what I'm going to have to do on this particular shirt is I'm going to have to stick it down to the hoop on top of the stabilizer. So this stabilizer is wet and gone tacky, which means that I can hoop it upside down, take off the stabilizer, cover from the back and I have a tacky surface that I can stick my garment to. So I'm going to pull away the paper and what I have is I have a tacky surface that's going to hold my garment into the hoop without having to put it around the ring. So I can just place it in there, push it on down, and it's going to hold it on there while I do my embroidery. Now most knits, in fact almost all knits, are going to benefit for having what's called a topper on the top. And what the topper does is it keeps the threads up above the fibers of the knit. It could get buried in those little knit fibers. So I'm going to put a topper on. You can see here that I've done a, a dragonfly already and I used that same type of uh, wet and gone on the top. You can also get a clear topping, which is made specifically for that. It's going to go on the top. The advantage to this, you can see through it. So if you need to place your design in a certain spot, this is going to be great. Now some knits, like say maybe this shirt right here, if I'm going to use a maybe a left chest embroidery, I'm going to probably want to stabilize this for that embroidery. And I'm going to want to put something on the back that's going to be a stabilizer that stays with the garment. So I'm going to use a uh, uh, no-show mesh. This one happens to be fusible. I'm going to put it behind my embroidery and it's going to stay with that embroidery for the life of the shirt and it's going to help to support it. Now that's a lot of stabilizer talk and what I'm going to recommend is uh, if you go to the landing page I have a handout not only for embroidery on knits but I also have the Floriani Embroidery Stabilizer Guide. It's a separate little handout. This is a wealth of information. So if it sounds kind of confusing, I don't know which one I want, mm, I don't know, you can read my handout which guides you to maybe the stabilizer that you need and then go get that other handout and there's tons of information on each specific thing. So what I'm going to do is I am going to embroider my lightweight dragonfly on my garment. I'm going to put some topper on the top of it. Here's that same, um, no, same wet and gone uh, tacky, easy for me to say, that's going to go on the top of it. When I get to the Vesta, we're going to embroider this on the baby lock Vesta, I'm going to actually put on a, um, a like a basting box around it to help hold this topper on and to make sure this shirt stays within the hoop. Now when I did this previous dragonfly, I just did it with a regular traditional embroidery thread and then I have to take it out afterwards. Another thing that would really help is I have wash away thread. So what I'm going to do on this next basting box that I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in wash away thread. And literally, this stabilizer washes away, this thread washes away, so all I have left is a beautifully embroidered shirt that's still going to have soft drape and flow. So go get your hand out when the video's done get the stabilizer. What I need to do now is send my embroidery to my machine. The Baby Lock Vesta, it's a wireless machine and I can use a free computer program to send a design directly from my computer to the machine. I'm going to grab my computer and I'm going to show you how that happens and on the handout it tells you where to get that free uh, downloadable program to automatically, that's sewing tech, send a design automatically from your computer to the machine. Oh my gosh. Let me grab my computer and I'll be right back here and show you how that's done. Actually, I came into the living room because that's where the computer was. Let me show you on the big screen what this cool program does. This is Design Database Transfer and what I do is, it's a free program and I tell you how to get that into the handout. So I'm going to choose the dragonfly that I want and I'm going to select it. I'm going to click on this arrow and then the Altair is Sewing Machine 259. You can name yours whatever you want. And now that I have selected my Dragonfly, I simply come down over here and I ask the computer to send it to the Vesta. So, oh my gosh, as fast as that, it went from the living room to the machine in the sewing room. Ta-da! So, 
This program, I tell you how to get it in the handout. It's awesome. If you have any Babylock wireless Wi-Fi enabled machine, it's going to work for that and do other stuff too. So I'll see you in there by the Vesta. The design actually beat me back to the Vesta. It's great that it's Wi-Fi enabled. So I'm going to do like a little basting box to hold everything down. You can see that this is the garment and it's a lightweight garment. So even with that said, I want to make sure it doesn't come off of where I've stuck it down to the hoop. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do my first color to be a basting box. And I'm going to get that basting box under the frame. So let me show you where that is on the machine. So here in the corner is the frames. When I touch that, I can choose a shape. I just need a square, so I'm going to touch that. And then I have lots of different options. I really just want the one that's just a straight stitch going around. When I touch set, that's going to be put on the screen in the machine. I'm not going to worry about the size now. I can fix that later. So I do want to add. Now, I sent my designs over wirelessly, but I want to show you something that's really cool. You see the wireless symbol in the lower right hand corner of the screen? See how it has an exclamation mark? Usually that's bad, but in this case, the it's great because the machine is always looking to see if there's an update from the mothership. So when I touch that, it's going to tell me that yes, there is a new update available for this machine or I can go in and check. Now I have to go to the website to get the update, but it reminds me that it's there. So I think that's pretty awesome. So now under this pocket, I look for the Wi-Fi symbol and there are two different uh, dragonflies that I've sent. I think this time I want to stitch that one. All I have to do is touch set and it brings it up on the screen for me to stitch. Now my little square, my basting square, it might be a little bit small so all I have to do is touch select and I can increase the size of that to go around to go around my dragonfly. And I don't have to worry about it because it's wash away thread. It's not going to affect everything. Anything, I'm going to sit okay. Now if I want to change the colors of my dragonfly to remind me I'm doing other things with that dragonfly, it's not a patriotic red, white, and blue one, I'm going to go and come in and change the colors to the colors that I've already done. His eyes were gold. That's what I did. Uh, oops, I did his wing. I did this in kind of a green color. Color. So you can see that I can just come on in and change all those different colors to remind me exactly what I'm going to do when I do the uh, embroidery. There we go. That's kind of an approximation of what I want. So I'm going to hit OK, Edit End, and now I'm ready to place it on my um, garment. I'm actually pretty okay with where it is, but I could go to all the different locations, maybe the lower right or the upper left, to see exactly where the design is placed on the machine. So the Vesta helps you place the design exactly where you want it to be. I'm good where it is, so I'm going to hit OK. I can actually color sort the design too. If I had two dragonflies on here, I could do both the bodies at the same time, the wings at the same time, as long as they weren't overlapping. So that's a great time saving feature also. I'm going to go to embroidery and I'm ready to stitch my dragonfly. The first thread that I put in is I put in that wash away thread. I get it by the large spool because I use it a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to embroider this dragonfly. The first color is wash away thread. Then I'm going to go through the colors of the dragonfly and then after that I take it out of the hoop and I wash away all the stuff that doesn't look like a dragonfly in a shirt. Let's get started to embroidery. Green means go. Here we go. That first color is going to be my box that's going to hold everything down together. So I'm going to stitch this. It's going to take me five minutes. I'll see you at the very end. So I'll finish with my awesome dragonfly and it turned out really great. I have a couple on here. I might add another one. Do dragonflies eat mosquitoes? If they did, well then I have a talisman to maybe keep the mosquitoes away from me. So there they are. Look how cool they are. 
So I really like my dragonflies. What I need to do now is wash away all of the topper and all of the stabilizer on the back. Remember that wash away thread is going to go away too. When you wash this away, you want to soak it for a little bit. Cut away what you don't want. It's going to be a pretty simple process. I'm going to send it off to George. I might do another dragonfly. I don't know. But George, please tell him a little bit more about the Vesta because this is a machine that if you're thinking about embroidery, doing embroidery on knits, oh my gosh, it could work for you. So I'm going to send it off to George. Thanks for joining me today. Go out and look in your closet for the filmiest knits because you can make them really stunning. So I'll finish with my awesome dragonfly, and it turned out really great. I have a couple on here. I might add another one. Do dragonflies eat mosquitoes? If they did, well, then I have a talisman to maybe keep the mosquitoes away from me. So there they are. Look how cool they are. So I really like my dragonflies. What I need to do now is wash away all of the topper and all of the stabilizer on the back. Remember that wash away thread is going to go away too. When you wash this away, you want to soak it for a little bit. Cut away what you don't want. It's going to be a pretty simple process. I'm going to send it off to George. I might do another dragonfly. I don't know. But George, please tell him a little bit more about the Vesta because this is a machine that if you're thinking about embroidery, doing embroidery on knits, oh my gosh, it could work for you. So I'm going to send it off to George. Thanks for joining me today. Go out and look in your closet for the filmiest knits because you can make them really stunning. Thanks, Kathy. Once again, that was a great presentation. Don't forget to click on the link to download Kathy's uh, guide on that incredible project. Um, now, every once in a while, a machine's introduced to the industry that really offers high performance at a great value, and that's the Babylock Vesta. Not only is it a great sewing and quilting machine, but it also is an incredible embroidery machine. The embroidery features include a hoop that's larger than 10 by 6, and it has a, a wonderful color touchscreen. And look at this beautiful embroidery. Plus, it removes the jump stitches, and it even has a special uh, software program that sends your design via Wi-Fi right to the machine. Now, that's not all, though. For a sewing machine, it has the automatic fabric sensor that senses fabric from heavy denim to sheer fabric to working with elastic or even uh, a ribbing on a collar like a, a t-shirt knit. But quilting features, it actually will sew in different directions. We have some designs that are incredible for going down the sashing border. It has an automatic quarter inch so you can do your piecing, plus all kinds of wonderful decorative stitches. So as you see, this is an incredible sewing, quilting, and embroidery machine. Now, uh, we have a very special buy on this machine. This machine has a manufacturer suggested list price of $59.99, but right now it's on sale for $39.99, and we're including free shipping across the country, as well as uh, interest-free financing is available. I want to make some, a very special offer for those who are watching Sewing Tech Talk with Kathy, and that is with a mystery bonus. Why is it a mystery bonus? Well, I don't have a lot of them, but I want to make sure those who are contacting me, all you have to do is mention Kathy 
our Sewing Tech Talk with Kathy, and I have this bonus value that is incredible. So give us a call at 1-800-865-9664 and discover how easy it is to get an incredible sewing, quilting, and embroidery machine. Bye for now. Oh,